Hello, and this video I will be teaching you how to make a regen or regenerating button in Roblox Studio. Now, there's already a ton of tutorials on the internet of how to do this already, but I find that a lot of them are incomplete, and a lot of them have code that you can't just copy, so you have to follow their typing, and that can cause a lot of spelling issues, and it's really hard. So in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make a regenerating button without any code. So first you need uh, a button or like a part, and then you need uh, something to regenerate. Now I have this police car. Um, you can do really whatever you want. Um, in my recent Roblox game where I actually used this, I actually had a ball. So I mean, you could pretty much do anything. Now the first thing you want to do is to replace the name of the police or whatever you're doing with car with an uppercase C. Now it doesn't matter what it is, it has to be named car. And this is, really isn't a problem because you can't see that in game. But um, you, if you can like try to mess around with the script if you really can't stand it being named car. But if you're doing it normally, this is just how you're gonna do it. So, and then you need to add a click detector to your button. Now you can do this by pressing the plus button and then pressing click detector. And then what you wanna do is press the plus button on the click detector and add a script. Now this script, you're gonna copy the, um, script that's in the dev forum post in the description of this video so let me do that real quick all right i have my script in the uh script i guess so now what you want to do is to put your car you have to copy the car and then paste it into replicated storage uh paste into and I think that's about it. Let me just test if that works. It's very simple. So, oh, that seems like that's a really cool model, by the way. Uh, and boom, yeah, it works really well. Now, there are some limitations to this button, um, such as uh, it will res it won't respawn again. It will delete the current car and respawn with a new one. Uh, another limitation is that any player can press it. There's no cooldown, but there's a a ton of other dev forum posts that where you can actually they've actually fixed these problems. So you can look that up if you want. But this video will just be a very basic, you know, um, how to make it, not how to make it good. Anyways, that's about the end of the video. If you have any questions or concerns or it's not working for you, I will help you. Please leave them down in the comments and I will help you and help troubleshoot it. Uh, and that's about the end of this video. Bye.